Um, had some uh, had some ramen for lunch. Not 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 ramen that you buy at the store, but you know you go to a restaurant or whatever. Uh, place called Jinya. It's pretty good stuff. Normally I get the uh, I forgot what they call it. It's the the, the spicy pork ramen, the tonkusu or whatever they call it. Um, good stuff. But this time I didn't. This time I got like the and, and this new one or it's like fried chicken, whatever. It's um. Kaga, kagagi, kagagi, something. I probably butchered that. Whatever. Good stuff, though. Highly recommend. How's it going, Cookie Monster? Three forty-five. How you doing? So yeah, we'll play some quick. All right. And we're also gonna talk about Pokemon. Probably talk about whatever. Okay, whatever topics or things you want to talk about. I mean, there's Pokemon. There's incoming DMCA takedowns, possibly. Um, I guess we'll get into that real fast. So Pokemon was hit with a um, a 48 hour ban. Okay, she was hit with a 48 hour ban because um, she was playing Avatar: The Last Airbender, like the whole movie, like the whole movie. She was watching the whole entire movie. Okay, and um, you know it happens a lot on Twitch where people just stream whatever, right? I do that too. I stream copyrighted stuff over here too, like music videos. So, you know, um, you know, I, I'd be I'd be reluctant to play a whole movie though, because that's asking for trouble. You know, you know. Technically, it's the same thing. If you're if you're violating copyright, you're violating copyright, right? But it's it's like maybe some things you can slip under the radar you fly under the radar and be fine other things it's like mm, you're really you're gonna get the attention of uh, you're you might get the attention of a studio that doesn't want that to happen like Viacom They're like mm -mm, no no we're not we're not doing that we're gonna shut that down but the other thing is too it might not even have been Viacom who, who issued the strike I mean it could have been anyone watching it because Pokemon has a lot of uh, audience so like a lot of people watch her and she has a lot of haters I don't I don't like Pokemon all the time I don't I, I don't dislike her I mean well I guess like I guess I did kind of dislike her I don't hate her I should say um, I think uh, she had a recent take I think it was her that was kind of very Anita Sarkeesian ish oh my god Gamergate reference where she was Saying how she doesn't like playing games because of of men in games. It's like, okay, all right, come on. But so yeah, she was playing um, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the movie, and um, she got a she got a strike, a DMCA strike, a ban for forty eight hours. Here's her Twitter talking about it. Confirmed 48 hour suspension. It doesn't really matter to her. She's going to bounce back. She's going to bounce back and be fine. Um, I like how somebody responds with, uh, if you want to see why Pokemon got banned, I literally just made a video of it. Okay. I got I to check that out. Uh, there is a, a master, master chef meta on Twitch. I guess, I guess we could check this out real fast. I wasn't planning on it, but we could check this out. Oh, I can't hear anything he's saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on one moment. Hold on one moment. Okay, I'll, I'll play this guy's thing. It's a new Twitch meta. A little while ago, when girls on Twitch were streaming in nothing but bikinis from hot tubs they installed in their own living rooms, the hot tub meta. Well, it seems like that's fallen out of popularity and has been replaced with a brand new Twitch meta, the Master Chef meta. Today, we're going to talk about what the Master Chef meta is and why it's possibly the. So there is a Master Chef meta, and and that's something I noticed and I talked about in a video I put up on on YouTube. Um, the people will just outright watch TV shows, <laughs> you know stupidest thing I've ever seen anybody do. Some big streamers are flirting really close with the law on this one, that's for sure. So what is the Master Chef meta? Well, you know how streamers will sometimes watch entire YouTube videos while eating some food, adding a comment every now and then? Well, that's like essentially Hassan. what the Master Chef meta is. Except crucially, instead of watching YouTube videos put out by individual- Hassan, I hate capitalism. Hassan, Hassan, I hate capitalism. Piker, who's <laughs> like, come on, man. You're streaming on Twitch, dude. You're making money. Uh, come on. You're helping Jeff Bezos, Mr. I hate corporations. I hate billionaires, whatever. That guy's a hypocrite. But 
You know, no point, no point talking about that, right? No, no point bringing that up because everyone knows. Everyone knows. Creators who don't have the legal means, or in most cases, want to sue over the use of their content, they're now watching full-length episodes of TV shows on Twitch. That's right, full-length. And it's usually MasterChef, though I have seen some people streaming other shows, like Naruto and Survivor. Now, if you remember anything about Twitch's recent history with DMCA strikes with music, you can probably tell why watching full-length episodes of a network television show on Twitch on your live stream is a terrible idea but let's take a look at it from the twitch streamers perspective and try to see what's happening after a br i mean look we could just brainstorm right now on how that's a terrible idea we're literally I mean, we we're talking about pokemon she got hit with a dmca takedown a dmca takedown that's gonna give her sting for 48 hours okay and she'll, she'll bounce right back what does she can do play games and since she hates playing games now because of men <laughs> blame the blame the men you know uh Apparently, Pokemon also hates being, like, objectified in sexual ways. But it's like, come on, man. Like, Pokemon, stop. Just stop. Okay. Stop Stop whining. Stop whining. You're, you're a top Twitch streamer, and you're whining and complaining about the attention you're getting. Hate that. That's what I hate. Like, oh, I'm so popular, but men objectify me. It's like, I mean, do you, do you encourage it though? I mean, what are you doing? Anyway, um, the bigger picture though is this. I get this was posted on uh, look, it looks like December twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. What is this? Random question with no real context. Notice a lot of streamers are watching shows and reacting. No shade, more power to them, but I mean, is this okay to do? Are these like public domain shows or something? Do larger companies just not care about folks restreaming their stuff? And uh, DJ Wheat uh, responds, is DJ Wheat like uh, a top guy of Twitch? Should I know this? I mean, I don't know this. Like when you stream on Twitch, you don't get informed about who are the top, who's the top brass of Twitch. You don't get informed on that. He says, it's absolutely not. Uh, just like it was never been okay to stream music, this is just as DMCAable as anything else. Hard to say why streamers have not been targeted. Just like music, it's probably just a matter of time. This is not an official Twitch take, just my own. So, it seems like people are noticing. And once people start noticing, studios will notice. Our particular people will notice. And they will... Uh, They'll start issuing out the DMCA strikes. I mean, it's all there. The system's there already. Like, you could file it. You could file a DMCA request or whatever. He's one of the early, uh, earliest hires as a manager. Okay, that's who he is. Okay, so so then that's a warning. That's a warning for what's to come, you know? I'll still, on occasion, watch music videos on this channel um, if I want to do, like, live reactions. Because I think that'd be fine. That's more promotional. And I don't know if you know this, but on my YouTube channel, there's been, I think I get, I'm starting to get comments from people in the bands are related to the band saying, Hey, thank you so much. And it's, I, if anything, I wish I, I could tell them, no, thank you. Because it's really you. I need to think, um, you know, if, if it's a few 20 people, maybe 30 people, maybe a hundred people, that the video reaches, if they like, you know, like your band, like your stuff, and they become fans, you know, that's cool. I guess we'll help each other out. But, you know, I've always said this, and I mean it. And when I do, when I do reactions, I feel like I am, dude, I'm at the mercy of the copyright holder, you know. I, so if they issue a, a block or they request a video down, I, I really have no room to complain. I know what it is I'm getting in, you know. I made my bed. I know what it is. If uh, if I find out, you know, if something bad happens, well, I only have myself to blame there. I'm not gonna be that guy who's gonna be like, oh, but fair use. Come on, that that that. I think people are really dreamy about the fair use thing. Um, Twitch doesn't care about that. YouTube doesn't care about that, and the studios don't care about that. And if you have the money to go to court about it. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to convince the judge. 
But good luck, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah. I uh, read Bob. I wonder if someone plays uh, the original GTA Vice City on PS2 with the original soundtrack. If it could get DMCA'd. The Steam version has a new soundtrack because their contract expired. Oh yeah, they probably could get you in trouble. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. Well, and remember when um, they were cracking hard on, on music? Then they are cracking hard on music on Twitch. There was these other, take <clears throat> these other takedowns that were happening over not music, but sound effects, sound files. Like you, you could be, be playing a game, like some Bethesda game. Maybe it's like Skyrim or whatever. And there's a particular sound effect, like a wind. Like, and it just so happens that some other third party has that sound effect file and they're claiming that they own that or something and they try to take it down and then you have to go, you have to, you know, do battle with them. It's like, come on. And when that stuff started, when that stuff started happening, I wasn't really all too surprised about that because um, a couple of years ago, back when I was doing more of the, the horror related stuff, I was actually trying to stream I was actually trying to stream public domain horror movies. They're public domain. I should be okay with streaming them. There's only like two titles that I was able to stream and be okay with it. Be fine. Nothing happened. A few other titles though, um, I got dinged one way or the other. Like, for example, Night of the Living Dead is in a gray area where it kind of is public domain. It's public domain, like, like the original Night of the Living Dead. It was right at the cutoff. Um, but if you stream it on YouTube, it will get dinged as copyright, not because of the movie, but because of the sound effects and music in the movie. It's weird, right? So the movie itself might be public domain, but if there's like music in it, that isn't. And maybe a lawyer could could argue that, well, you know, if the movie's public domain, then the music in it should be okay as well. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. And you know what? When that stuff happens, dude, how are you going to win that battle? How are you going to win that appeal? That doesn't, you know, when, when you're talking to YouTube and talking to Twitch, whatever. I'm, I'm just I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I guess um, what I'm learning here is even public domain's not safe. So uh, that was back when I was streaming on YouTube, streaming that stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, Hassan says, like, everything is fair use if copyright holder doesn't care about pursuing a DMCA claim. Be smart. Don't watch entire movies. Viacom Disney shit. Our new apps. Stop snitching. <laughs> and also stop snitching, guys. <laughs> All right. I mean, I agree with that. People shouldn't snitch on that stuff, and people are just trying to have fun, whatever. But the problem is, it's, it's kind of, you're preaching to the choir. At that point, and um, there's people out there that have uh, have an interest in using the DMCA to, to take people down. It could be the actual studio itself, or it could be somebody who thinks they're um, on some noble campaign or something um, adjacent to the studio, or maybe they just don't like Pokemon or who, whoever it is that's playing the, the, the stuff. But more than likely, it's probably just going to be an automatic, like, detected by the algorithm. Like, this channel is small. If I were I play, like, Dragon Ball Z episodes, I probably would be fine until the wrong person were to catch the stream. But with that said, we're talking about this. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Like, I've been flirting with the idea of watching Dragon Ball Z, um, like, the the, you know... Going back to the beginning, the very first episode of Dragon Ball Z on Twitch. Is that bueno? Is that good? Should, should I do it? Or should I wait and see uh, what's going on? I'm very curious about that. Cookie Monster, I would wait. Yeah, I'm thinking I would wait on that too. 
there, there's a few, you know, if I start seeing people on Twitch complain that, you know, they, they're getting DMC takedowns for watching various movies, yeah, that's a clear sign that, you know, the sheriff is coming in, okay? There's a Wild West, people are having fun, doing whatever, but Wyatt Earp is coming in, and uh, he's, bringing, he's bringing the law. God damn. <laughs> you know, it's not good. I don't, I, I don't want that. I probably I probably wait. I will probably wait. Because man, even that um uh, that Dragon uh, the very first Dragon Ball Z episode, I tried to put on YouTube the the reaction on YouTube, but it just